Good morning! It's Tuesday, April 5th, and we just finished our tour of Valley of the Gods. It was spectacular! We're now headed into the town of Mexican Hat on our way to Gooseneck State Park and Monument Valley. Thanks so much for stopping by. Stick with us as we show you the best of what we saw and did on our six-week Florida to Utah trip. There's the Mexican hat, so let's go down there and look at it. We'll not be, we'll not be climbing up that Mexican hat rock formation. It looks like people camp here. This is probably BLM land. This is the town of Mexican hat. Across the street here from the 7-Eleven is the Swinging Steak Restaurant. As it looks like about the nicest restaurant in this town. But it's 10 o'clock on, uh, I think, Tuesday morning, so they're not open yet. There's a beautiful bridge up here. What is a yurt park? Yeah, check out the trading post. Yeah. Oh, this is pretty nice in here. It, when you're driving by, you just kind of zip by it and you don't really get to take a good look. But this, this is pretty cool down in here. Very cool. Cute little cafe, very cute. Very pretty. So I got the Navajo chili taco on this Indian fry bread. It looks delicious. And Fred got onion rings and hamburger. He already said the onion rings are great. recommend is be sure you bring some chapstick and some lotion. My lips are so dried out and cracked and we've only been here for two days. How's it going, Lily? How's it going? Huh? That is it for the town of Mexican Hat. You can see the Mexican Hat up there in the distance. Thank you. Thank you. So it cost $10 to stay here overnight. Oh, this is a great spot right here. This is a fantastic spot. Look at this. This looks like a great view. Okay, so we've decided we're going to camp right here. There's a little stone fireplace. Look at this. Ooh, it is windy. I've been in the camper for a few minutes trying to get out of this wind and it seems like it's died down a little bit. Lucy and I are going to go for a small little walk. Fred just took Lily. He's way over there. Fred's dreaming about taking a overnight river trip down this San Juan River. <laughs> he keeps talking about it. You know, before I came here, I read somewhere that there were like eight or nine camping spots. Seems to me like there's a lot more than that. I don't know if you can see the colors in those mountains over there. A lot of red tones, red and gray. There's no water here, no electricity. But there is a vault toilet, and I will say that's got to be about the cleanest vault toilet that I've ever seen. You 
You are standing on the edge of goosenecks of the San Juan, one of the most striking examples of an entrenched river meander in North America. Is there gas available up here? One mile west, Goulding's. Okay. Gotcha. The opposite way. Thank you. So they charge the card $20. It is revenge on the pale faces, the white men. Hit them in the pocketbook. So they did give us this nice little brochure. Here is a hotel that they have, the View Hotel, they call it. In the gift shop, they have what's called Lookout Point. Fred goes straight for the books, that's his favorite. Oh, they got a lot of neat stuff in here. Monument Valley they have this little area or exhibit here called Hogan Village. The cone shaped mud baked homes are typically known as the male homes and they can be taken down and they said reconstructed at another location pretty easily. The dome shaped homes are the female homes and these are more permanent structures. So let's see if we can go in there. And you can, oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh yeah, this would definitely be a permanent structure. So this is a Navajo home. The floor is dirt, but it's definitely out of the wind. You're gonna have the fire here. Wow. And this is, I guess, the more temporary structure. But still wood inside, but very small. You cannot take your travel trailer through that area. So they are making us go back to the parking lot and drop our uh, rover. So the, the pamphlet that they gave us um, does not describe the, um, you know, the rock formations that we're looking at, which is a little surprising, but you know, again, I guess they want you to take their guided tour. So if you can find that online before you get here. So we have found a sign uh, marking a couple of these. So this is the Three Sisters. There's a sign that tells what this is out here. It's called the Hub. It looks like it has some of those uh, little uh, Hogan huts. And I did read that the Elder Navajo Indians still use those for ceremonial reasons. It's 
very pretty here. We are having a good time driving through Monument Valley. You enjoying this, sweetheart? Yes. Like scenic. It is. A beautiful clear blue sky today. So these columns out here, it's a the rock formation called Totem Pole. This is called the North Window. I guess that's it up there. Yeah. This is called the Thumb. And the Window. done with Monument Valley and finished with this small region of Utah and we are now headed towards Zion uh, but before we get there we're gonna stop at uh, another BLM camp area and we're gonna do the wire pass trail which requires a permit from rec.gov which we have already obtained so uh, we're gonna have to find some place to camp for tonight we really don't know where we're gonna do it I hope there's gonna be some place close to this trailhead